Hello and welcome to this sixth lesson dealing with uh, references in AutoCAD 2012. In order to explain how references works, I'll use the reference file technique developed by the Danish Union BIPs. This technique aims to place the responsibility of information and data within the drawing as well as optimize the workflow in smaller and larger projects. The way that's being done is making sure that data and information only exist in one place, meaning in one AutoCAD file or one DVG file. These files are called model files and this small drawing should demonstrate what a drawing file could be consisting of. Could for instance be the structure, the columns within the building, could be the lighting placed in the ceiling, it could be the modular grid, or it could be external and internal walls. The module files are being used in numerous drawing files. As you can see here, as an example, the first floor plan, for instance, consists of the model file structure and modular grid and house. And as you can see as well, the modular grid is being used in many of the drawing files. This means that in case modifications are being made, for instance in the modular grid, you only need to place it or make the changes in one file and it will automatically uh, be updated in the other files. To demonstrate how that could work, I'll try to go to my insert button and go to the tab called references and attach a file called grid and open it and I'll use the insertion point zero and say OK. And if I zoom out a little bit you'll notice that the drawing appears within this drawing meaning that it's being linked into my current drawing. Once again I'll attach another file this will be my external and internal walls. I'll open it and since I drew it with the same point of zero I just say OK to this and it's now nicely being placed in the drawing. Before ending I'll just show you the list of my external references and as you can see here um, both of them appears and you also notice that um, references can also be uh, images uh, JPEGs um, and so on. I'll close this down and quickly jump to my layers and notice that at the end of my layer list I also have control over the layers contained in the attached or linked uh, references meaning that I can turn them on and off and freeze them as well. Okay, I'll end for now and hope you will follow my last session dealing with how to export from Revit architecture to DVGs and AutoCAD. Goodbye for now. Take care.